hi guys you're welcome back to my channel okay so if you just see my video you're welcome my name is stella um in my channel i post sewing tutorials okay and very detailed step by step beginners friendly for everyone okay so today we're going to be making this lovely ball dress for a four-year-old okay the fitting is it the colors are popping all right so let's get right into the process okay so in my channel i already um showed us how to draft um pattern for kids okay i'll leave the link in the description box so it's the same process very detailed and it's step by step okay the fitting is perfect now that's the pattern i'm going to be using so we are going to be having a very short video short but detailed so um i'll simply fold my fabric and cut out this pattern okay so okay so we're working with um 12 yards of tool net okay and um brighter satin one yard and then my lining of one and a half yards okay and then my invisible head zip matching color and um matching thread as well Okay, so these are the things we'll be working with. Now, I'll go ahead and um, fold the doll face bridal satin, okay, and cut out um, the pattern. Now, I'll be cutting two pieces of the front and two pieces of the back because I also want to use the bridal satin as my lining for the half length, okay? So, I'll go ahead and cut this out and I'll show us. Okay, so I went ahead to iron down my hair stay on the front piece and on the back piece as well, okay? So I didn't iron anything on the lining. Now this is the lining of the back piece and the lining of the front piece, they do not have any form of interfacing. I also cut out a two inches um, band, which I will stitch down on just the front um, piece alone, okay? Now, um, I went ahead to mark my one inch, okay, at the back piece. Um, which I'll take to the sewing machine and stitch using a loose stitch. I'll also mark it on the lining as well. Now, the essence of this is so that we can see the crease line very visible when it's time to fix our zip. I like to always do this, okay? Um, so that end of the day, you don't end up stitching um, less than your zip allowance or more, okay? So it's, it ensures that you're working accurately. Now... Okay, so the next thing I will do is to um, join the shoulders, okay? So I'll go ahead and um, join them, join the front piece to the back piece just by the shoulder using my 0 0.5 allowance, okay? I'll do this also on the lining, then I'll press it open and um, I'll come back and show us what next. Okay, and that's it for the upper bodies. Now for the lower part, I cut out my 180 degrees flare as my lining. Okay, so I'll leave a link um, in the description box on how I cut my lining. Now let's move to the bow of the dress. Okay, so for the main bow, um, it's measuring 22.25 inches long and 7.25 wide. Okay, so I'll go ahead and stitch on the length Okay, so I'm leaving the, the width open because that's where I'll be turning from. Now, for the tie, I cut out two pieces measuring 18.5 inches long by 5.5 inches wide. Okay, so um, for the shaping, I'll go ahead and mark my marginal line. Now, the length of the tie is 18.5 inches and the width is 5.5, okay? So I'll go ahead and connect these points. Now from the width, I'll come up, from the width, I'll come up by four inches, okay? Then I'll, I'll draw a slant line to meet the other end, okay? Now the opening of the tie is 3.5 inches. So I'm going to simply connect a slant line from that four inches I came up with to the 3.5 opening, okay? Then I'll go ahead and add my half inch sewing allowance. And that's it. I'll go ahead and cut this out. Okay. I'll repeat the same on the other tie as well because we're having two um, pieces of the tie. Okay. Now. Okay. So if you look at the dress, um, you will see the tiny bow in the front. 
okay so to cut that out um i cut out a piece of fabric measuring 13 inches long okay by 3.5 inches wide now i cut out two of this so i'm going to be stitching just on one side then i'll turn it um from the 3.5 inches wide Okay, so this is the net. Um, remember I told us that uh, I bought 12 yards of net. Okay, so I divided that into three. So it means each one is four yards. Now I'll, I'll go ahead and fold um, each four yards lengthwise. Okay, now from her waist to her full length, to so the dress length is 20.5. So that means um, each piece we are going to cut out three pieces. Okay, so that means in total we'll, um, we'll cut out nine pieces. Okay, so I'm done joining the shoulders, okay, both on the main fabric and on the lining. Now, I went ahead to press that using my pressing iron. So as you can see, it's laying very flat. Now, that's the secret to having a very clean um, dress at the end, okay? So you have to iron every step of the way. Now, I also, I, um, I also stitched down my band just on the front, like I explained to us, okay? Now, um, this is the lining as well. I've also joined it on the shoulder and I gave it a good press. Now it's time for us to, to join and, um, and to stitch down the neckline. Okay. So the first thing we will do is to place both, um, to place the main fabric and the lining right size facing each other inside. Okay. So what's facing me now is the wrong side. Now I'll go ahead and stitch around the neckline using my 0 0.5. Okay. But um by the center back we'll leave half inch before the zip allowance okay i'll use my tape and mark um 0 0.5 okay before the zip line now this is where i will start to stitch my neckline okay we'll come back to that when when we're done fixing our zip okay so and um i'll also go ahead and mark my 0 0.5 um inch around the armhole Okay, I'll do that on the other armhole as well. Then I'll take that to my sewing machine and I'll stitch that down. Now, when I'm done, I'll pull the back piece from the front. Okay, so after I'm done stitching, I will trim that down to 0 0.25 and I'll pull the back pieces from the front. Okay, and I'll give it a good press. Now, this is the ties, the two pieces of the tie. Um, I've turned it and I've given it a good press as you can see it's laying flat. Okay Now the opening side I folded it in using my pressing iron and I just secured that with a pin Okay, now this is the bow I turned it and then I made sure that my stitch line is laying in the middle. Okay, this is how yours should be so um, Then I, I, I also went ahead to fold one end using my pressing iron like so Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is to flip in the other end into that side that I folded with my pressing iron and I'll top stitch on top of that. Okay, just watch what I'm doing. Then I'll go ahead to top stitch on top. Now when I'm done, um, we're fixing the bow last because it's going to be detaching. So that's it for the bow for now okay this is a tiny piece we will use to wrap it around now for our bow in the front i did the same thing okay this is our fabric um we're going to have two bows in the front so i pressed made sure that my center my stitch line is in the middle okay now we're going to tuck it in like i showed us this same way as well fold in one side and push in the other side okay now i'm going to stitch i'll, st I'll top stitch on this okay now it's going to be this way and that's it for the upper part so i'll go ahead and cut my net okay so i'll fold it lengthwise then i will from her waist to the dress length is 20 inches so i'll fold and um, I'll get f um, 3 out of this because the length is by 60. So 60 over 20 will give you 3. So from each piece, remember I told us that it's 12 yards, okay, I got. Now I divided it into 3 and each one, um, I I'll fold it lengthwise. Then I'll measure out her length 
okay and i'll cut out so from each like this i'll have three pieces so that means we're going to have nine pieces in total okay so i'll cut them and i'll show us how to gather it okay so i'm done joining okay so i pressed open you can see the neckline is closed i left the little about 0 0.5 that i told us so we fix the zip okay i've joined the sides okay now it's time for us to um join our side seams okay now remember our um our allowance that we left when we were marking so on our pattern we left 1.5 inches okay now i'll go ahead and mark this okay now i'll pick it up um the main fabric okay like so and i'll go ahead and mark my 1.5 Okay, then, so I'm going to go ahead and stitch this way. I'll do the same on the other side. Now, when I'm done, um, let me show us the net. Okay, so this is the two net. Okay, remember we have nine pieces. Okay, now I'll go ahead and gather it two two. Okay, so what we have here is two pieces. Um, this is just um, this is one and two. So I'll go ahead and gather it. I'll pick up two and gather. We have nine, so we'll have two, two, and uh, we'll be left with one. Now, when I'm done, after I join these sides, okay, I'll take them and um, I'll take five, okay? That's the way it is like this, two. I'll take another two, making it four. Then that one single that we have, I'll gather the five on the main fabric like so. Okay? Then um, the other four, I will gather it. I will sew it down to the lining piece okay now i'll take that again um what we have here is two so i'm going to um gather it in twos okay so i'll gather this two gather another two making it four and then one that one single now i'll pick it up so the five of them and i'll gather it round on this half length that i have here the main fabric okay now the other four i'll gather it to i'll stitch it the other four i'll stitch it to the lining okay the waist of the lining i'll do this so the video is not unnecessarily too long so i'll do this and i'll show us um what next to do okay so i'm done attaching the net to the fabric remember as i explained it for us i attached okay um five pieces to the main um fabric and um four pieces to the lining okay now you can see how fluffy it is okay now it's time for us to fix the zip so to fix the zip i will turn it to the wrong side okay hold down the waist so I'll turn it to the wrong side and um, from the waistline, I'll measure down. So from the waistline, I'll measure down five inches. And I'll make a mark there. Now from there, I'll stitch to the hem using my one inch. Okay. And after that, I'll fix my zip. On the main fabric and i'll use the lining to turn it okay and i'll show us the finished look all right guys so we are done um the dress is looking really beautiful i went ahead to attach um a lace cut out okay on the two net using my hot gun okay now um the dress is so fine now this is our tiny bow in the front i tacked that down using my needle and thread I also use my hot gun to attach um, some rhinestones around the neckline, okay? Now, this is the back. You can see how the zip is laying flat, okay? Um, the fitting is just fine. Now, let me show us the inside. I've not, overlocked, I've not overlocked the rough edges. I'll do that later, okay? Now, you can see that everywhere is concealed. All the rough edges are inside. And um, it's a clean finish, guys. 
I would like you to try this out, okay? Um, and that's it, okay? Kindly leave your remark in the comment section, you know, just leave your question if you have any question or just drop your remark. I, I look forward to hearing from you guys. Okay, now this is the bow. I have attached that. So what I simply did was to use my rope or a thread, okay? And I just tied the ties to to the bow, okay? Now I'll go ahead and um, sew down my press button, okay? Because it's going to be a detachable bow. Now I'll, I'll stitch down my press button on the bow, okay? And that's it. All right, guys, so here, the, here is the dress on the mannequin. It's looking really beautiful. Now, the dress is for a four-year-old, but my mannequin is for a five-year-plus-old. So the dress is not zipping fully at the back because it's smaller than the mannequin, okay? So I also show us the back view. It's really a beautiful dress. I can't wait for her to try this on. Okay, so you can see the back. Um, It's not zipping fully because the dress is small. Okay, all right, guys, and this is a wrap. Um, thank you for watching my video. Okay. I look forward to seeing you guys. Okay. In my subsequent videos. All right. So, um, bye.